Hello, I'm here to pay tribute to the wonderful work of protecting primates done by the late Cyril Rosen. And I'd like to give my condolences and those of everyone in the IPPL family to Howard Rosen and all the members of Cyril's family and all his friends. I met Cyril long ago, way back in the 19, early 1970s, and he had started a branch of IPPL. He had been a member since 1973 when we started, and in 1976 he established IPPL UK, and that functioned as a branch until quite recently. And I first met Cyril in a dentist showroom. I went to see him and he had provided IPPL with the ground floor of this building um, in London. And so I walked up into the office and then to my horror I saw rows and rows of dental chairs and I thought, oh my God, I gotta run. I'm so terrified of dentists. Uh, so in the end I calmed down, sat down and Cyril and I had a very long discussion. We discussed his plans for IPPL future, which were very similar to ours, to protect primates worldwide, to end the trade, to rescue animals from abusive um, situations, and also to help overseas sanctuaries. And we both went on doing the same thing, and I'm still doing it, and Cyril probably is wherever he may be. He testified in a court case against the Royal College of Surgeons, which was charged with abuse of laboratory monkeys. And his testimony was so effective that there was a conviction and the college got fined. And it was really the precedent setting early case where people would stand up to abusers of laboratory primates who were mainly monkeys. And Cyril also was very interested in the work being done overseas to help primates. And he liked two sanctuaries in particular. The late Stella Brewer was running a sanctuary in the Gambia, and it was the very first time that chimpanzees were rehabilitated to the wild. And Cyril loved that project and donated generously to support Stella and her pioneering work. He also used to have pet monkeys. They were Mona monkeys, Mona guanans, and when he heard there was a Mona monkey sanctuary in Nigeria, he was so excited and he has been helping them ever since very generously also. Then there came a big, big case that he heard about. On the Spanish beaches, chimps were being observed dressed in human clothing and being touted by these photographers. And what the photographer's agenda was to get baby chimps, to make them safe, to make them safe for humans, they would yank out their teeth, usually with chisels, because vets don't want to get into that kind of thing. So these poor detoothed animals, and they were drugged with Valium, were paraded around the beaches. And tourists would pay 20 bucks to have their picture taken with them. And the chimpanzees, in terror, would cling to the humans, and the humans think, oh, this chimp just so loves me. He's such a happy chimp. Take the photos and send them home to their friends. Cyril knew better, and his friends, Simon and Peggy Templer in Spain, also knew better. So they formed a team, and they had a campaign. They sent letters to every single tourist agency that was sending people to Spain and asked them, please, to boycott. No, people should never have their pictures taken with them. Uh, and he had organized letter writing campaigns, petition drives. There was no internet then, so it was very hard work. He had to mail out all these letters to the agencies. And um, things were not going well, except suddenly the Spanish government had a change of heart and started confiscating these wretched babies. And so the Templars set up a sanctuary at the home in Girona, Spain, where the chimpanzees survived and thrived. Later on, they were all moved to England, to Monkey World. So they just are living some of that day, and their defense sentence are still living there quite happily under the wonderful care. It was Jim Cronin first, and now Alison Cronin. And that was a wonderful campaign. And it was so successful that one British guy living in London and two British living in Spain could campaign together and change a nation's regulations and save abused animals. 
So we at IPPL are going to miss Cyril because he was always ready for a new campaign and looking out for one. And we say goodbye, Cyril, and thank you for all your wonderful decades of service to our non-human primates. Those of us left must work harder to with this crusade, and we will. So bye, Cyril, and wherever you are, I'm sure you're meeting up with battle companions like the Templars and Stella Brewer and chatting about chimps and Mona monkeys and all kinds of exciting things and it, I like to think that they're all watching over us.